service of morning prayer on this Wednesday of the third week in Lent will begin on page 79 in the Book of Common Prayer. Page 79 in the Book of Common Prayer for our service of morning prayer. Today is also uh, the Feast of Cyril, so we will give thanks during our prayers uh, for his life and witness to God. Jesus said, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Continuing with the Venite on page 82 of your prayer books. The Venite on page 82 of your prayer books. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our psalm this morning, appointed for this morning, is a portion of Psalm 119, beginning at, psalm, at verse 97. Psalm 119, verse 97, which can be found beginning on page 771 of your prayer books. Psalm 119, beginning at verse 97, page 771. Oh, how I love your law. All the day long it is in my mind. Your commandment has made me wiser than my enemies, and it is always with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your decrees are my study. I am wiser than the elders, because I observe your commandments. I restrain my feet from every evil way, that I may keep your word. I do not shrink from your judgments, because you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste. They are sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your commandments I gain understanding. Therefore I hate every lying way. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. I hate those who have a divided heart, but your law do I love. You are my refuge and shield. My hope is in your word. 
Away from me, you wicked. I will keep the commandments of my God. Sustain me according to your promise that I may live, and let me not be disappointed in my hope. Hold me up, and I shall be saved, and my delight shall be ever in your statutes. You spurn all who stray from your statutes. Their deceitfulness is in vain. In your sight all the wicked of the earth are but dross. Therefore I love your decrees. My flesh trembles with dread of you. I am afraid of your judgments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 45, beginning at the 16th verse. When the report was heard in Pharaoh's house, Joseph's brothers had come. It pleased Pharaoh and his servants well. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, Say to your brothers, Do this, load your beasts and go back to the land of Canaan, and take your father and your households and come to me, and I will give you the best of the land of Egypt, and you shall eat the fat of the land. Command them also, Do this, Take wagons from the land of Egypt for your little ones and for your wives, and bring your father and come. Give no thought to your goods, for the best of all the land of Egypt is yours. The sons of Israel did so, and Joseph gave them wagons according to the, to the command of Pharaoh, and gave them provisions for the journey. To each and all of them he gave festal garments, but to Benjamin he gave three hundred shekels of silver and five festal garments. To his father he sent as follows, ten asses loaded with the good things of Egypt, and ten she-asses loaded with grain, bread, and provision for his father on the journey. Then he sent his brothers away, and as they departed he said to them, Do not quarrel on the way. So they went up out of Egypt, and came to the land of Can Canaan to their father Jacob. And they told him, Joseph is still alive and he is ruler over all the land of Egypt. And his heart fainted, for he did not believe them. But when they told him all the words of Joseph, which he had said to them, and when he saw the wagons which Joseph had sent to carry him, the spirit of their father Jacob revived. And Israel said, It is enough. Joseph, my son, is still alive. I will go and see him before I die. Here ends the lesson. Song of Penitence found on page 90 in your prayer books. A Song of Penitence, page 90 in your prayer books. O Lord and ruler of the hosts of heaven, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and of all their righteous offspring, you made the heavens and the earth with all their vast array. All things quake with fear at your presence. They tremble because of your power. But your merciful promise is beyond all measure. It surpasses all that our minds can fathom. O Lord, you are full of compassion, long-suffering, and abounding in mercy. You hold back your hand. You do not punish as we deserve. In your great goodness, Lord, you have promised forgiveness to sinners, that they may repent of their sin and be saved. And now, O Lord, I bend the knee of my heart, and make my appeal sure of your gracious goodness. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I know my wickedness only too well. Therefore I make this prayer to you. Forgive me, Lord, forgive me. Do not let me perish in my sin, nor condemn me to the depths of the earth. For you, O Lord, are the God of those who repent, and in me you will show forth your goodness. Unworthy as I am, you will save me, in accordance with your great mercy. And I will praise you without ceasing all the days of my life. For all the powers of heaven sing your praises, 
and yours is the glory to ages of ages. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 6, beginning at the 13th verse. The twelve cast out many demons, and anointed with oil many that were sick, and healed them. King Herod heard of it, for Jesus' name had become known. Some said, John the baptizer has been raised from the dead. That is why these powers are at work in him. But others said, it is Elijah. And others said, it is a prophet, like one of the prophets of old. But when Herod heard of it, he said, John, whom I beheaded, has been raised. For Herod had sent and seized John, and bound him in prison for the sake of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because he had married her. For John said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. And Herodias had a grudge against him, and wanted to kill him. But she could not, for Herod feared John, knowing that he was a righteous and holy man, and kept him safe. When he heard him, he was much perplexed, and yet he heard him gladly. But an opportunity came when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers and officers and the leading men of Galilee. For when Herodias' daughter came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his guests. And the king said to the girl, Ask me for whatever you wish, and I will grant it. And he vowed to her, Whatever you ask of me, I will give you, even half of my kingdom. And she went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the baptizer. And she came in immediately with haste to the king, and asked, saying, I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. And the king was exceedingly sorry. But because of his oaths and his guests, he did not want to break his word to her. And immediately the king sent a soldier of the guard, and gave orders to bring his head. He went and beheaded him in the prison, and brought his head on a platter, and gave it to the girl, and the girl gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard of it, they came and took his body, and laid it in a tomb. Here ends the lesson. The Song of Zechariah on page 92 in your prayer books. The Song of Zechariah, page 92 in your prayer books. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our, of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our service continues with the Apostles' Creed on page 96 in your prayer books. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Give ear to our prayers, O Lord, and direct the way of your servants in safety under your protection, that amid all the changes of our earthly pilgrimage, we may be guarded by your mighty aid. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Strengthen, O Lord, the bishops of your church in their special calling to be teachers and ministers of the sacraments, so that they, like your servant Cyril of Jerusalem, may effectively instruct your people in Christian faith and practice, and that we, taught by them, may enter more fully into the celebration of the Paschal Mystery. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honor of your name. Amen. Our prayers continue with a general thanksgiving, which can be found on page 101 in your prayer list. The general thanksgiving, page 101 in your prayer list. Almighty God, Father of all mercy, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. 
And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. This concludes our service of morning prayer. We hope you will join us this evening for evening prayer at 5.